I hope that these first few videos are helping you to understand dot product. Right? The whole idea here is to understand dot product. And all these things which we are learning for dot product of geometric vectors will also apply for the Cartesian vectors. right? So we will use this knowledge in the next chapter also. Exactly same. Now here we have another interesting question. It says calculate the dot product of the following vectors and explain the result. So we have a vector b and b dot b is what? Now b dot b should be magnitude of b times magnitude of b times cos of angle between them will always be 0, correct? And if the angle between them is 0, then cos of 0 is 1 and therefore we get magnitude square. So that is a law. So when you have a dot product, then we get the square of magnitude, right? Always. So this is a very interesting property. All these four questions here are very interesting and they're kind of properties for vectors, dot product of vectors, correct? Now in this case, we have a very similar example with one difference. That is negative, right? So this negative is, you can take it outside and if you take it outside and do the same thing, then you get negative of a magnitude square, correct? So that is one thing and you know, dot product gives you real numbers and real numbers could be positive or negative. This is one way of looking at it. The other way is you can say vector, this whole thing is a vector. In that case, what we are going to get here is magnitude of a times magnitude of a times cos of 180 degrees because these are opposite directions. If I consider A like this and the other one like this, correct? So the angle between them is 180 degrees. Now you know cos of 180 degrees is minus 1, right? You know cos of 180 degrees is also equal to minus 1. And therefore you get minus absolute value of A square, right? So that is what you will get. Now here we have vectors I and J. So what are i and j? i actually is a unit vector. Let me write like this now. Is a unit vector along x-axis. And j is a unit vector along y-axis. Correct? And as you know, these axes are perpendicular, right? So they are orthogonal. They are like this. So we have 90 degrees angle between them. So if the angle is 90 degrees, what is cos of 90? So cos of 90 degrees is 0, right? You know, cos of 90 degrees is 0. Therefore, the dot product will be 0. So you'll get dot product of unit vector i and unit vector j will always be 0. Remember that, okay? So that is what we'll get. If they are perpendicular vectors, that means you'll get zero as your answer since the angle theta between them is 90 degrees. How about if they are in the same direction? So here you'll get both magnitudes of one, right? So it'll be magnitude of i square, let me write first like this, which is magnitude of one square, which is one, right? So if you have dot product between two unit vectors in the same direction. In that case, the result is 1. So these are very, very important things to consider since we are soon going to apply them in solving different kinds of problems. Thank you and all the best.